Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. This message is for Aquarius, Sun, Rising, and Venus. Please only take messages that resonate, even though intuitively for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Square God, Universe, Ancestors of the Highest Life. Like, please give me a chance to send messages for Aquarius, please, and thank you. So let's see what Aquarius needs to see. Mm. Wow. So someone is no longer um being stagnant. They're gonna go through this a change, they're gonna go through this transformation. They're seeing things from your point of view. Okay, this person had to sit and reflect on this one, get on this relaxed car for a minute to clear their mind. They needed some time also like clear their mind, make the best decisions for them, so someone could have made up their mind, they're leaving it behind. They had enough, so it's like enough is enough. Okay, they're understanding that the grass wasn't so green after all. And they're grateful to see things clearly for what they are and not for what they wanted it to be, and it's causing violence. Okay, so you can be dealing with a leaving. Period. Okay. Let's get one more. This is beautiful energy. Somebody know that they had to change. They know that they couldn't stay in this energy any longer growth. Because it was affecting them. Yeah. Guarded. Someone know that they had to change in order to level up. Because if they stayed stuck, it was going to block whatever blessings that was trying to be given to them from the most high. Okay. Because it's a blessing in everything. Like once you learn the lesson for yourself, for your soul's growth, your soul's ascension, and your soul's journey, it's a blessing that comes with it. It's not necessarily saying, oh, you're changing because you want to be in a divine connection or a spiritual connection. No, you gotta do the changes and healing for yourself. So when you do get into a divine connection, you will know what the red flags are that you won't do to affect the relationship. You get what I'm saying? So it's not just about, oh, you're changing for the next person. You're changing for yourself. Because you have to learn these lessons for yourself first. And it's blessings that comes with it. Okay? Yeah, this is beautiful. We just got straight to the point. Aquarius? Okay. So y'all healing. That's good energy. Look, the food. Mm-hmm. Now you're able to take those chances that you always been wanting to, that you always been like wondering, okay? So you've been trying to look for some answers, okay? You're, they're about to be answered, okay? Let's see. Give me messages for Aquarius. Because somebody probably been trying to figure out like, should I do this for myself or am I doing this because like you want them to? I know sometimes we'll be like, you don't want to do things because you feel like you're doing it for somebody else. No, do it for yourself. Okay? Because, you know, deep down within yourself, you already ask yourself questions as it is. Like, okay, what am I still here for? Or what is benefiting me at the end of the day? I've seen 333. Three, three. And it's like sometimes you got to take the rose-colored glasses off and see things for yourself. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and that's you. Aquarius, with this king of swords. Because you know you're going to already see through and see past the illusions. Because you can put illusions on yourself by trying to confuse yourself or play mind games. And when it's like you play mind games, it backfires. Because everyone around you, including yourself, see and know the truth. Whether you're a man or a woman. Let's keep going. Aquarius. Yeah, the lovers. You're marrying the person that you actually feel solely connected to. And you have a lot of passion towards this person, a lot of attractions, okay, physically. Like, you really want to, like, you're being drawn to this person. Judgment, the Queen of Cups, and the Ace of Wands. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or a Fire Side, Aries, or Sagittarius. Okay, but you keep this hidden. You go in Hermit mode to seek more answers for yourself. Four, four, four. That's a good thing, though, because you want to see clearly. Uh, you want to know for a fact. Okay, I've been picking that energy up a lot. Like someone just been, like, observing you, paying very close attention to you. 
they also been seeing the signs of synchronicities because all these spirit animals around this person, especially crows, could be significant dragonflies, butterflies, birds. Okay, some of you guys could be seeing owls, depending on which state you're in. Five fifteen, as you're seeing on the clock. Queen of Pentacles, two of swords. Hmm. Someone know that they who they was like. <sighs> Let's see, what's this Queen of Pentacles, two of swords? Maybe this person. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe some of you feel like this person didn't take you seriously. Like maybe everything you probably was trying to show this person. Well, for some of you, you know, you cannot show this person. It's like they have to be willing to like see it for themselves. Five, five, five. So that's where you guys made a mistake at. If you guys was trying to like put the press on this person for them to see your worth and to see you clearly, because this person was still a little bit foggy to it. Like it was still a little bit fog surrounding this person. But the more and more that they became more consciously aware to who they are and their surroundings and what they was experiencing, it made them more aware to who you are. So it made them more accepting to you. It took some time for this person to, because there was some lessons that this person had to get through. And everybody's lessons are different. Some people, it's longer for them to take to learn and others of you, it's quicker for you to learn. So it all depends. What's this Knight of Pentacles? So when you really felt like it was taking too long, you really needed that, that time within you and this person. Y'all needed that gap. And it could be an age gap or an age difference between you and this person. Okay? And we got the king of wands with the queen of wands. Yep. Over time, it built more attraction. The more this person was observing of you and aware of just watching you from a distance or however this was going or praise, but this is you with someone external to you, you found more attraction in each other. Okay? It's a lot of fire here. A lot of passion between you and this person. I'm here. You set my soul on fire. Um, also, I'm getting like, hmm. It could be because it could come like very obsessive though. The page of Pentacles. This person could have always wanted to like say something to you or start a conversation with the Emperor and the Page of Cups. You make this person shy or something like that. This person is very shy. But others of you, you can have a fire sign in your energy and an air sign in your energy. That's why the two of swords is here. And it's like they're, they both could be in your ear. Wow, this is crazy. And temperance. You got some trying to do do, boo boo. Because both of these people see you the same way. Hmm. And you inspire both of these people, both of these individuals. You can be dealing with a Gemini, a Sagittarius, an Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, four, four swords. Some of you is like, I deal with it later. That's the energy I got with the four swords. Like, y'all don't want to. I don't know. What's this full sword? The five of wands. So y'all have two people that's like fighting for you guys. Like seriously. The seven of wands in reverse. What's the seven of wands in reverse? Ace of Pentacles. And the Empress and the Nine of Wands. Some of you guys, like, you have your boundaries up and your walls up towards this. Oh, hell on, man. I feel y'all pain. I feel y'all pain. Because it's like one person could be like not saying too much about what it is that they really feel towards you but they know it's a soul connection in you. and there's another person you already like this person is crushing with you at a distance and the page of pentacles and they're ready to like talk sheesh emperor and the empress 
What's this king? What's Aquarius got going on with this lover's card? Eight of Cups. Y'all walked away from this person? What's this king of swords and the lovers? Nine of Cups. The star. Someone is hoping and praying they get another chance with you. Because you could have walked away from this person or this person walked away from you, however it goes. And then y'all got someone that could be younger than you is your divine counterpart. And you have a higher level soulmate. What y'all got going on? Hmm. For both of you, these are both good choices. I ain't even gonna hold you, um, Aquarius. Y'all got two good, um, candidates. <laughs> they talking about some candidates. They had candidates. Wow. But it's a lot of attraction already in one. I don't know what y'all got going on. What's this entrance in the nine of ones? The will of fortune, yeah. Ace of Cups. I'm telling you. It's a lot of obsession coming from both parties. All parties. Now, this could be one person. Y'all just take away the resonate. Because there's no three of pentacles and seven of cups out here. But I'm definitely feeling like two separate energies. Six of pentacles. It's like having to choose who you're going to give to. Because you can't give to both um, Aquarius. Whether you're a man or a woman. Because for a man, he got a queen of pentacles and a queen of ones out here. For a woman, she got a queen of swords. I mean, a king of swords and a king of ones out here. So y'all clearly has some just some choices to make now. Either way, it's going to be a lose situation. His feelings going to get hurt. Five of cups. His feelings involved. We got the lovers, the ace of cups, the page of cups. Sheesh. Mm -mm -mm. The world card. Mm. What's this eight of one? Five of Pentacles in reverse. But someone has already walked away from the situation. Why is the five of Pentacles in reverse? Or oh, they giving up? Seven of Cups. That could be something that somebody is afraid of. Like you got other options. Or that you're going to pick someone or choose someone besides them. Like somebody doesn't want you to have like other options. They only want you to like be with them. Wow, I'm telling you, somebody's already playing me off. They, they, mm. Aquarius. Somebody is ready to drop their guard with the seven one. Then once again, this could be two people, or this could be one. But for the majority of you, this is two people. Okay, with the two of swords out here. So someone is ready to like drop their guard and put their sword in and take action towards them because they know it's love here and they're ready to give equally and have a heart to heart conversation. They're just hoping that whatever this conversation is, that you're receptive to it. Okay. Mm. I'm telling you, somebody's like ready. Mm. Yeah, boy. Somebody's like literally breaking their silence. Like, if there was no communication before, uh, it's going to be some communicating. Eight of Wands, it's going to be some back and forth communication. Like, you might even get a long, drawn ass text message about this person's feelings. And it's going to like confuse you because you're going to be like that's why if this person is going to do that, they got to take their time. 
Nine of Pentacles, don't rush it. Don't rush with your feeling. Take your time and really feel through your emotions. Because somebody is like walking away and leaving that energy behind. Of being so guarded and being so standoffish. Because they know in order for this connection or whatever this... This connection between you and them two to grow, that they have to like give equally to it. It can't just be one person. And that's maybe how this person lost you the first time. Now for some of you, this ain't the first time this person lost you now. That's because the person had things going on in their life in the past and so as well as y'all. But it's like now this person is like, oh, since I got an opportunity and chance. Because this person is admiring you, both of these people. It's crushing on you. Wanting to date you. They take you very seriously with this point of him. They both see your work. If you think they did, they do. And they accept you for who you are. Like, y'all don't even know. This is like... Mm. They're both... Like, they... I'm telling you, they see your work. They see how attractive you are. And it's like... Y'all not paying attention to this. That's because y'all so busy just minding our business with the Queen of Kings. And you don't even see this because you don't. You don't even see that it's literally two people fighting over you. But just energetically or like literally. God just in this Queen of Pentacles energy. We got the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Two, I guess two good um, options here, man. The Will of Fortune and the Chariot. I mean, the Chariot and the Hierophant. Yin and Yang, duality. It's a lot of balance here. What's this Hierophant and the Chariot? Ten of Cups. And the Two of Pentacles. I don't know what to say first. Mm. Excuse me. Y'all got some decisions to make. Okay? Because you can't be stuck at a crossroads for too long. Because somebody is ready to, like, bust a move. They just want to know if they're going to be juggled or not. Somebody don't want to be juggled. Or maybe you guys feel like y'all don't want to be judged if y'all give this person a chance. Ooh, excuse me. Water is bomb. Stop. So yeah, what y'all gonna do? Mm -mm -mm -mm. What y'all gonna do? Access denied. Couple seeds, I'm telling you. You can't run from this. You can't run, you can't hide. Ready or not, here I come. You can't hide. I'm telling you, somebody gonna find your way. They said, ready or not, here I come. You can't hide it, Craig. I don't know where you think you about to go, boo boo. Or sir, or ma'am. Can't go nowhere. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all been trying to figure this out for the longest. Who is who? What is what? I think Spirit got a trick for y'all. Yeah, Spirit is gonna, you just gonna have to find out. I'm telling you. Because some of y'all, y'all been in y'all head for too long with a decision. So whether you ready or not. Something, somebody is about to pop up. Not pop up, but they going to, like, reach out to you. Text, call, email. I don't know why I just heard dancing in my head. What the heck? Because the page of cups, page of pentacles, and the nine of cups out here, and the page of schools. That's like three communicative cards in the eight of ones. A lot of communication will be coming to you. Mm, 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 mm. So, if you and this person, say for instance, right, whether you're a man or woman, 
you get one person that expressed their feelings to you, and then you get another person that expressed their feelings to you. And you read the messages. You're gonna to have to clearly read the messages to see who is being pure and intent intentional with their emotions. Just period. That that's what I say, whether you're ready or not, spirit is about to like just get the party jumping. I'm telling you. Cause y'all been sitting on this for too long. Sitting on it for too long, get purified. I'm telling you, you gotta see who got pure intentions. Okay? And make sure that you guys are like paying attention to what it is that they're saying. Both people. Because I feel like both of these people are gonna like reach out to you and express their love. One person might not say nothing, they might just keep it close to their chest or keep it to themselves. But I feel like both of these people, one of these people are about to just go ahead. Because they're in this King of Wands energy. We did them with a fire so Okay? They're ready to take action. And like, send that message. And send a call. It's been a long time coming for some of you. Let's get one more, and then I'm out of here. We got rumors and someone may be getting arrested. Wow. And you're fired. Hmm. I feel like this that energy when someone left something behind, so there's a lot of people talking about something. Okay. Yeah. There's a lot of people talking about this person because they walked away or they no longer is with someone, okay? With the arrested card. Seeing through the fog. This person is seeing clearly that. That's why this King of Swords came out first. As I said, so y'all got some decisions to make. 22, 22, you can be seeing twos a lot as well. Uh, 22, 26. Mm. That Christmas card is giving me like surprise energy. Because some of you are about to get in a relationship. And you're not going to have any more time left to sit in here and keep trying to decide and figure things out. You're just not. Okay? Because things are moving quickly now. Like the five of pentacles in reverse. Like someone is literally like over something. Moved out. Left something behind. Because they're dropping their guard for you. Or this could be vice versa. Because they're ready to speak their truth. King of swords. Or queen of swords. They didn't heal with the star card. They're ready to like act you out. And be reciprocal. I'm telling y'all, y'all got some decisions to make, man. With two energies, or it could just be one person. Y'all know if y'all dealing with two people, or if you just know that you're with one person, but someone else is into a sleep. Or however they go. But I don't have the capacity to keep up, because that that event doesn't hurt my brain. I'm trying to figure out. Y'all see how I already be feeling when I be trying to figure out for y'all. Okay? So, yeah, this is your message, Aquarius. I love you guys so very much. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell. Peace.